Hey there, college football fans. Chuck Mustache here. I just want to let y'all know that I don't know what the freaking friend is going on out there. It's a crazy world in college football today. Let's go ahead and just talk about it, maybe? Okay. Before we get into it, if you like this video, hit that like button right there. If you want to watch more videos in the future, hit that subscription button. So, anyways. So who's left unbeaten? Let's go over those teams right now. Right now. So far in the top 25, we've got eight left unbeaten undefeateds. We've got Oregon at number one, and they definitely look number one. I, I, I thought Georgia might be number one, but after that last game, uh, Oregon's probably number one. Good job, Oregon. Let's go Dylan Gabriel. At number three, you got Penn State at 7-0. and Really? We're going to come back to this at, at some point, but Penn State, really? Okay, anyway. No, number five, Miami at 8-0. Again, really? I mean, kind of weird that I'm saying really to an undefeated team, but we'll, we'll come back to this top five later on. But uh, as for the rest of the top 25, you got number nine, BYU, 8-0, and, oh, and number 11, Iowa State, 7-0. Oh. That's the Big 12 saying, this is us at 9-11. and 11. We're barely breaking the top 12 with our undefeated teams. Okay, anyway, and then you got number 13, Indiana. We're, gonna, we're, we're, we're coming back to Indiana, that's for sure. And then you got number 18, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, okay. And then at number 21, you got Army. I mean, what can you say about Army? They're undefeated, are you kidding me? This is awesome. This is awesome. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Indiana is 8-0 from the Big Ten, and they're ranked number 13. Let me ask you a question, college football fans. Do you really think that Indiana would lose to Miami? Told you I'd come back to this top five. Do you really think that Indiana is going to lose to Penn State in the Big Ten? I, I don't know. Let's just talk about the Big 12. Is BYU and Iowa State... Are they better than Penn State and Miami? I don't know. Are these one-loss teams? And we'll get into that here in a second. I don't know. The only thing I do know right now is Oregon, which I didn't say last week, looks like the best team all of a sudden. This is a weird year, and I, it's driving me crazy. Anyway, let's get into the one-loss teams. We'll come back to the undefeateds in a second. When you get into these one-loss teams, you start wondering how good the undefeated teams are. So, at first we got number two, Georgia. Last week, I thought they were the best team in the nation. Possibly could be. Just flip-flop Oregon or Georgia at this point, and I think they're clearly the best. I could change my mind next week, so don't hold me to that. Anyway, number four, you got Ohio State. I thought they were pretty good early on in the season. Now I don't, but don't quote me on that. I don't think they deserve to be number four, but are they better than some of those undefeateds that I talked about? Let's go with number six, Texas. I hate talking about Texas because everybody knows I'm an Oklahoma Sooners fan. Boomer Sooner, by the way, go SEC. But I digress. This is where I, I have to say, do you really think that Penn State could beat Texas? Because I don't, not even close. There's my biggest discrepancy right there. Number seven, Tennessee. Come on. I was kind of supporting Tennessee early on, but I don't think they're as good as what we thought they were. Number eight, Notre Dame sitting at seven and one. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? Now, number 10, Texas A&M. This is where I have to say something about AM that I haven't said in many, many years. They actually look like they're getting better. Started off a little rough. But the team looks like they're getting better, better, better. And I always preach something in my videos. Uh, oh, yeah, coaching. He got rid of Jimbo Fisher. That was step one. I don't know much about Mike Elko. We'll see now that he's coaching a big college. 
this is where you see how good a coach is. But looks like he's doing a pretty good job. So and him, you might be one of those better one loss teams out there, but just not getting credit for it yet. Anyway, number 11, Clemson. Same thing. Rough start. Just kind of nothing to see here. Just moving on up. Six and one. You think Clemson can beat Penn State? You think Texas A&M can beat Penn State? You think Notre Dame can beat Penn State? Sorry. Sorry, Penn State fans. I'm not trying to make you the example, even though you are the example. But you're not number three in the nation. And if you are, damn this year. It's a weird year. I'm not going to mention any of the other one-loss teams because Alabama takes the number 14 spot, you know, because they have two losses and they're ranked ahead of some of those one-loss teams. So it's kind of irrelevant this early on in the season, just like everything I've said so far in this video is irrelevant early on in the season. But I'm glad you hung out for long enough to see this long of the video. And now I'm fumbling over my words and I can't talk all of a sudden. But I'm out of here. Thanks for joining me. Later. Thank you.